Good morning everybody, it's Thursday the 22nd of September 2022, public holiday in Australia for the death of Queen Elizabeth, and I'm off on my morning run, I'm not going to film it all, I'm just going to film sections of it, the first section is out my street here, and heading towards the Cape College. This is College Street, Northern End. It connects Clinton Street, Weo Road, with Addison Street at the Southern End. That's coming off College Street onto Addison Street. And I'll stay on Addison Street until it intersects with Auburn Street in front of Goldman South School. I'm about to cross uh, Calvert Street, Hume Street, or the highway as it's called sometimes, the main road out of Goldman towards Canberra. I'll still be on Addison Street on the other side of it. Good day for a run to not much traffic around because of the public holiday. I'm almost at the end of Addison Street where it leads Auburn Street. Auburn South School is on my right, you probably can't see it on the footage, but it maybe just now. And then I'm going to turn into Walker Street over here, which is a very short street and east-west comes out on Sloan Street First, coming out of Walker Street turning right and heading north on Sloan Street and I'll stay on that for a bit of a distance only get a K and a bit maybe till it becomes uh, after the crosses Bradley Street and then it becomes Grafton Street um, crossing over Bradley Street uh, where Sloan Street becomes Grafton Street Grafton Street has a lot of interesting historical information about the early settlement of Goulburn well worth taking a walk down and reading some of the parks Grafton Street changes its name again and becomes Reynolds Street here. In front of me is Tennyson Woods Reserve and the Rose Garden, I think it's called Mary McKillop Garden. The Joseph's Convent and School is on the left hand side. The road sweeps around behind the back of the school up towards the Sydney Road. Just crossing the Sydney Road in front of Goulburn North Public School. And there's a pathway down the side of the school, a couple of hundred metres long, that takes you to Maud Street. I'm off that short section of the pathway, and it's just Maud Street. It goes along the front of the jail, and up ahead on the right is Cemetery Street. Uh, this round path where the motorcycle seat maker is is uh, Wilmot Street which I'll be going on and taking a lift and going on Wilmot Street this is Wilmot Street that goes along the front of North Park a bit further up towards the Gordon Hotel and then Joshua Street where I'll make a left turning left onto Joshua Street and I'll stay on this road until I come to Kinghorn Street which is a couple hundred metres ahead uh, there's Kinghorn Street and I'm going to go up this rise that I hope you can see ahead of me behind the speed sign up there and instead of turning into Wheatley Avenue like I usually do I'm going to take the next left which is Bishop Street 
going left into Bishop Street here, about halfway down the back of the tennis court is Shepherd Street. I want to take a right there and then that connects with Auburn Street and I'll go left towards Citizen Street. Shepherd Street is only a short street. You can see Auburn Street in front of me there and I'll go left there towards Citizen Street. I'm on Auburn Street going south for a couple of hundred metres towards the mower repair shop you might be able to see just ahead that's a couple of hundred metres and then I'll turn right onto Citizen Street uh, just round at Auburn Street I'm on Citizen Street going up towards the big roundabout at the intersection of Belmore, Hurst and Cowper Street this is the computer Grindman shop on the corner of George Street ahead of me Coming up to that big roundabout I mentioned, Cowper Street on the left, Belmore Street will be on the right, Hurst Street I think it is, straight ahead. I'm going down Belmore Street for maybe 100 metres. Turn left into Lawn Street, which runs east west, and Belmore Street to Prince Street. And Coming off Lawn Street and turning right on Prince Street and going down the road a little bit to Cadwell Street and I'll take a left onto Cadwell Street which runs up to Fitzroy Street. I've turned into Cadwell Street and it, as I said, runs ahead to Fitzroy Street, but before it gets there, it crosses Albert Street and changes its name to Newton Street. This is the first section of Newton Street, which goes up towards, goes up to Fitzroy Street. First it crosses Godfrey Street here, and then it goes up, as I said, to Fitzroy Street at the uh, front of Wallandilly Public School. Well, I made it across uh, up Newton Street and across Fitzroy Street. Then I'm on the second section on Newton Street, which goes up towards the side entrance of the school. Uh, a bit of a steep run here, so I let the camera run a little while longer so you can see what I'm doing. I've made it to the top and hopefully you can see the downhill side towards View Street which will be on the left shortly. I've turned off Newton Street onto View Street and I'll continue this way in a couple of hundred metres. You can see I have ahead of me here uh, and then I'll make a left turn onto Bryant Street which connects with Deccan Street just in front of the Olympic Pool and I'll take the path around the back of the park just turning into Bryant Street it's a short street that runs up to Deccan Street in front of the Aquatic Centre. I come off Bryant Street and across Deccan Street and I'm on the path down the side of the pool, Olivia Pool on my right there, and Victoria Park uh, contemplation space on my left. Around the bend here onto the new path. It goes around the back of the 
the aquatic and leisure centre. Hopefully you can see those signs that point to it. A cafe, the aquatic and leisure centre, and there's the third one. I don't know, I can't remember what that says. I really need to get a bit closer. Oh, aquatic and leisure centre, cafe, and uh, toilets. Toilets, by the way, are behind this grill section here, which I didn't know until the other day. Around the bend here, down towards the adventure playground, and a rage cage, which you might be able to see. Look at the head on the right there. Short distance along the Victoria Park path here to Lerner Street. <coughs> Cross over Lerner Street. right up towards where the blue and the red car are Well, I've run 10.72 in one hour and four minutes. It won't take you long, that long to watch me run it. A time in the zone, which is always a good one, mostly in the red zone. I'll post the other information and the map uh, when I put the footage up. Thank you for watching. Enjoy your public holiday. And I hope you enjoyed the quick tour guide around Goulburn.